Demigod. A multiplayer online battle arena video game. You say it's another clone of Dota 2 and League of Legends. Well, no. Demigod was released in the spring of 2009, half a year before the LOL and four years before Dota 2. And unlike someone, Chris Taylor, founder of Gas Powered Games and a man, who won my heart with games like Supreme Commander and Dungeon Siege, did not just copy the original Dota, but made his own game. And in order not to waste your time, I will name the main reason why you should enter the game at least once. Maps. Just take a look at them. Each one is a work of art, an architectural masterpiece. I swear, even today, despite the outdated graphics, these colossal mythical structures make me tremble. But it's not just the visual appeal that makes the maps special. Unlike the classic Dota map with three lines and a jungle, in the Demigod the number of lines is different, and there is no jungle at all, which means the game will not turn into a 40 minute farming simulator. Also, there are a lot of flags located on the map that provide a variety of advantages and constantly encourage players to fight for control over them. And since I started talking about the gameplay, I would like to show one more feature of this game. In Demigod, besides buying items for your hero, you can help your team by buying upgrades in the Citadel. This means that during the game, overfarmed heroes can spend their money on improving defense, increasing gold and experience per minute for every player and adding new creeps and structures, so in the late game with a competent improvement of the base all team members will have equal impact in fight. While in Dota all all almost everything will depend on main carry. Unfortunately, that's where the positives of the game end. Since the game was completed in a hurry, at the end it turned out to be half-baked, there were only 8 demigods at the start and although the creators promised to release a number of add-ons, in the end only 2 more heroes were added. The game also has an extremely poor set of artifacts and therefore for each hero there are only 1 or 2 optimal item builds. As a result, Demigod is a game which had a great potential, but since it was hacked literally on the day of release, and out of 120,000 online players 102,000 were pirates, the game never got off the ground. But even today it looks decent, and it seems to me that if developers add new heroes and items, adjust the balance and make it free to play, then although it will not become equal to Dota and LOL, it will take its place in the sun. In the meantime, I advise you to try to play it yourself. Unfortunately, even in the Steam version, I was not able to play online, and the AI in the game is rather stupid, and playing alone is not very fun. But at least I guarantee you aesthetic pleasure. In conclusion, I want to say that 13 years ago this game made an unforgettable impression on me, and with this video I wanted to pay tribute. Hope it was interesting for you. And for now, farewell.